Jerry's prepared a rocket that he thinks could stop a truck and trailer. Well, guys, this is the rocket. This is a 10-inch uh, diameter rocket called a Thumper. This rocket looks big, but the cutting-edge technology that packs a big punch is hidden inside, the rocket motor. Usually when you hear the word motor, you think of spinning gears and stuff like that. But when we're talking about a rocket, rocket motor is different. Essentially, it's just a casing with a bunch of rocket fuel in it. This one is a solid fuel rocket motor, the safest and simplest type there is. It's a highly combustible fuel, capable of more thrust per pound than any other solid rocket fuel. The fuel burns along a hollow central tube, pushing hot gases out of the bottom, providing the thrust. Chuck wants to measure how quickly it can deliver all its power. Now, it looks like you have plenty of room in here and payload capacity. Do you mind if we stick an accelerometer in there to measure the g-forces, the acceleration as it takes off? Sounds good. The accelerometer's data should help them work out if this rocket can deliver its power quick enough to stop a truck and trailer. Looks like we're rigging the rocket onto the launch pad. It's just about ready to go. And just be a matter of rigging up the ignition and pressing the button. This trigger sends an electric current along the detonation cord into the motor, creating sparks that ignites the fuel, sending the rocket up. Here we go. Ready, guys? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm arming. Three, two, one, ignition. The rocket climbs over half a mile up. That is gorgeous. Oh, it's coming down. Getting there demanded a huge amount of force. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. beautiful. The parachute brings the accelerometer safely back to Earth. 